Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Reapercast. We're going to be talking about a few new cards that have actually been confirmed here, which will be a bunch of speed roids. So this will definitely be very exciting, of course, because uh, it's kind of like... Well, we were already expecting that speed roids would be coming in this set, but seeing that speed roids are now being confirmed with a few new cards here, it's going to be quite a hype thing. I mean, we did talk about the new Crystal Clearwing Dragon last time, and I was definitely very excited, but of course there are main deck monsters as well, and also spells and traps, which might determine whether or not this might be worth it or not. So with that being said, let's just get started. So the first card we have here is called Speedroid Party Horn Kid, a level four wind machine tuner effect monster with a thousand attack and defense. The first and second effects can only be used once per turn each. So first effect, if this card is normal or special summon, you can excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of other wind monsters you control. Add one excavated card to your hand, also place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. I actually kind of like that card because this card being a level 4 tuner is already really good for the fact that you could easily just uh, bring this card out and simply tune up with any of your other speed road monsters which could easily just special summon themselves out right or you could just use the other speed road monsters effects and allow them to actually special summon out this card from the hand or even the deck depending on what you actually use. However, this effect is definitely very nice because you could just search up a bunch of cards from the top of your deck and see whichever ones you actually need, which I think is actually quite amazing to be honest. I mean, it just says add one excavated card to your hand, meaning it doesn't have to be restricted to just the speed road monsters. It could actually just be any card in your deck, which is uh, pretty amazing if you ask me. However, that was just the first effect, meaning we do have a second effect, I'm very excited about this. So as we can see here, for the second effect, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one level 3 or higher wind monster you control, reduce its level by 2. I kind of like that because if you go into your highest synchro monsters and its effect has already been used out, you might want to lower the level and then perhaps use urgent tuning, allowing you to then synchro summon into something higher, which I kind of like that because it sets you up for an OTK. Urgent tuning is a trap card that allows you to pretty much excel synchro during the battle phase if you actually need to and as a result you could just uh, do quite a few amazing plays there so for example say you had a crystal wing on the field which is a level 8 monster and you went for an attack during the battle phase for 3000 if uh, prior to entering the battle phase you use this particular graveyard effect to banish itself and reduce uh, crystal wings level by two then it would be a level six meaning if you used an urgent tuning with uh, any other tuner with the uh, crystal wing that's now been reduced to level six you could go into a higher level like a seven and eight maybe even up to ten uh, depending on what other tuner monster you have out on the field which i think is absolutely brilliant so as you can tell, there is definitely a lot of potential with this card. It's definitely very well designed. However, moving on here, we have Speedroid Magic Hound, a level three wind machine effect monster with 800 attack and defense. The second effects of this card's name can only be used once per turn. So first effect, when this card is normal summoned, you could send one Speedroid card from your deck to the graveyard. So it's essentially a foolish burial, which is not too bad at all. Second effect, if this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card, then target one speed road monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, special summon one speed road synchro monster with the same level but different name from your extra deck, but its effects are negated. That's actually quite brilliant to be honest. I mean, that effect allows you to essentially just go for a free special summon of anything you want from your extra deck, given that you could at least meet the conditions for it. So I quite like that. And the first effect is not bad as well. It's kind of setting up your graveyard. So if you have a monster reborn out on the ready, then that's great, you know, this is, uh, just so far going really well because all of these cards definitely are not disappointing whatsoever However, moving on here. We finally have our first synchro monster. So this is called 
high speed roid cork blaster, level 3 wind synchro tuna effect monster, attack 500, 1000 defense, and it's generic. So you can only use this effect of this card's name once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this card's effect, except wind monsters, which is no problem if you're playing a pure deck of speed roids and even wind witches in the mix. So its effect is if this card is synchro summoned, you could activate one of these effects. So you could either add one speed roid spell trap from your deck to your hand, which is pretty amazing, or if this card was synchro summoned using only speed roid monsters as materials, and all the materials were used for its synchro summon are in your graveyard right now, you could just special summon all of them. Pretty amazing if you ask me, because that essentially allows you to then uh, go into further synchro climbing, or if anything, you might even go into link climbing as well. I think that is really amazing. But of course, it's a really small level synchro monster, so we're not expecting too much anyway. Let's move on to the next one, which is our boss monster, presumably. So over here, we have High Speed Roid Clear Wing Rider, a level 11 wind machine synchro effect monster, 3500 attack, 2000 defense. Requires one wind tuner and one non tuner wind synchro monsters. So, quite a difficult requirement, but shouldn't be too big of a deal if you're playing a pure speed road wind deck. First effect, once per turn, you could roll a six sided die and shuffle wind monsters from your graveyard to the deck up to the result. Then you could destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number shuffled, and if you do, this card gains 500 attack for each card destroyed by this effect until the end of this turn. Not bad at all, it's definitely just a chain of effects that are kind of dependent on the previous one, which is kind of scary because if you roll a 1, you are definitely very unlucky. However, potentially if you roll a 6, you could gain 3000 attack, you can destroy 6 cards on the field, and you could also just shuffle up to 6 cards back into the deck as well. Really amazing uh, for the potential wise, but of course there is the downside that you could easily roll a 1 or a 2. But second effect, during your opponent's main phase, as a quick effect, you could tribute this Synchro Summon card. Special Summon up to two level 7 Wind Synchro Monsters with different names from your extra deck. Definitely very interesting, I like that, because if you could bring out uh, monsters from your extra deck as well, I mean, that's really amazing as a recovery. It's like you get rid of a boss monster, no problem, you just bring out two smaller boss monsters from your extra deck. As for the final support, we are getting here a normal trap card, it's called Speedroid Duplicate. The second effect can only be used once per duel, yes, once per duel, not even once per turn, it's once per duel, which is pretty insane because when you look at it that way, instantly this card is going to be a one-of in the deck. I doubt you would be playing any more, but it must be a pretty good effect, so let's see what it does. First effect, banish one wind monster from your graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls, and return it to the hand. Not the most amazing first effect, but it's the second effect here that's meant to be really insanely good. So, second effect, during your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one speed road monster you control, reduce its level by one, and if you do, special summon this card as a normal monster, machine tuner wind level one, attack zero, defense zero, this card is not not treated as a trap. Alright, so not the most amazing in terms of effects, but I do understand why it would be really good. Think of it like this, you could actually just bring this up and go for a potential, I guess, uh, Formula Synchron, which is not too bad at all, you know, it's definitely really nice. And I could see that if this wasn't once per duel, someone might be able to abuse it not only in a synchro standpoint, but also in a link standpoint. Because if you think about it, you have cards like Spore and Glob Bob, which are already kind of problematic. So because of that, seeing this card be restricted to once per duel might actually prevent this card from ever getting banned, because you could actually just use this card to go for link climbing. However, with that being said, we're also getting here some reprints, so we're getting a Clearwing Synchro Dragon, and it's going to be confirmed a reprint as a holographic rare, so that would assume that it might come out as a collector's rare in the TCG side of things, so 
that would be quite amazing. I would love to up the rarity of my clear wing synchro dragon, uh, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, that's great to hear. We're also getting here a reprint for Speed Bride Terror Top. We're also getting one for Take Tomborg. We're getting one for Den Den Daiko Duke. And we're also getting one for Car Turbo. Now, this is very weird because Speed Road Car Turbo is a card that I've never seen before, so uh, perhaps it's something I missed out. Otherwise, we might be getting the effect uh, soon. But with that being said, I hope you guys are excited about all of these new Speed Road cards. They are definitely going to be very exciting for me. I love all of these effects. I love the potential of all of these effects. But perhaps you guys have a different opinion on that. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely drop a like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.